what the fuck is happening, tubers? This is your boy, Eat That Pussy 445, and I told y'all I was going to come back with another video for the day. Um, about um, kind of football fans, you know. What's up with football fans? And when I say that, I mean, what is a, what is a bandwagon fan? Well, a bandwagon fan is a fan that is only going for a team um, when they're winning or during a certain period of success. But when they're losing, you don't hear them, you don't see them. The motherfuckers are nowhere in sight. That's a bandwagon fan. And today I want to talk about um, bandwagon fans in Bakersfield, California. Uh, the city is fucking infested with bandwagon fans. Um, you know, and I bet y'all probably saying, like, what kind of bandwagon fans are you talking about? Um, San Francisco 49ers, Dallas Cowboys, um, not necessarily the Dallas Cowboys. Let me see, you got uh, 49ers. Um, well, yeah, Dallas Cowboys. Um, I, can't, I can't too much say Oakland Raiders, but that's basically it. Niners, uh, Niners, Cowboys, oh, and Falcon fans. It amazes me, because I do not see this many motherfucking San Francisco 49er fans before this season, before, nigga, before the season before that, the season before that, and the goddamn season before that. All of a sudden, the 49ers are what, 8 and 1 now? They beat the Giants yesterday? That's all, nigga, when I went to the grocery store, nigga, that's all the fuck you see is 49er fan this. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. I'm a Niners fan. I'm a Niners fan. Bitch, you a Niners fan, but you don't know. You a Niners fan, but you don't even know who the fucking quarterback is. You don't know who the quarterback is. You don't know who the co you don't know who the coach is. You don't know who the fucking running back is. Get that shit out of here, man. You ain't no fucking 49ers fan, man. All these motherfuckers are 49ers fans and shit. Um, ain't nothing wrong with representing the 49ers and shit, you know. But if you're gonna be a 49ers fan, represent them motherfuckers during when they're losing, when they're winning. You know, I'm not saying that all 49ers fans are bandwagon fans. I'm not, I'm not, I'm God knows I'm not saying that, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, you do have bandwagon fans on there, you know, out there, dick riders, you know, um, and if you're a diehard 49ers fan, you ain't got shit to worry about, you know, and I'm not just saying that because my team sucks dick this year and they ain't doing shit. You know, I've been out here for, for the past two, two and a half, almost three years, and that's all the fuck you see is bandwagon fans. Um, these motherfucking Dallas Cowboy fans out here. I was at the Stoke. This nigga was like at the grocery store yesterday, you know, shopping for you know, shopping for um for the Thanksgiving, you know, uh weekend. I was shopping at the store and I had on my shirt and I had on this um my uh sweater, of course, you know. Motherfuckers is looking at me weird. I'm looking like like my dad was saying, Brian, like who you want to like, you know, you ain't got to sit up there and fucking uh, suck nobody's damn dick just because they want you to like another fucking team, you know. So I'm up in there, and this one punk ass nigga gonna sit up there and say, hey, <laughs> uh, uh, you wearing, uh, you got on the wrong team, homie. Like, let me guess, you're, 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 you're a Cowboys fan, right? Uh, yeah, man, my team is the Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys? Okay, motherfucker, okay. What is it about these fucking Cowboy fans, man, that annoy Eagles fans the most, you know? Number one, they talk shit. Number two, they're overconfident. Number three, they talk shit more. And number five, well, number four, five, I don't know, I lost fucking count. Niggas gonna be like, oh, this bitch can't even count, but what the fuck? They talk too much shit, you know what I'm saying? And they try to... And, and, and they fucking pretty boys, you know. But these motherfucking Niners fans, these goddamn uh, cowboy fans out here, all of a sudden, motherfuckers is riding their dick and shit. But but where the fuck was y'all at last season? Okay, then again, okay. Now let me make this. Let me make myself clear again. I'm not saying all 49ers and all cowboy fans are fucking bandwagon fans. I'm not saying that. Okay. 
what you have to realize is that there are some fucking bandwagon fans out there. Guitar's loud as fuck, man. Me, personally, I ain't never been a fucking bandwagon fan, nigga. So one guy was like, oh, you an Eagles fan, huh? You a bandwagon fan. Bitch, look at Nigga, do me a favor, motherfucker, okay? I'm talking to the guy in the store. Do me a favor, nigga, okay? Go on your computer and punch in, eat that pussy, fo fo motherfucking five, nigga. And you will look at all my videos, nigga, from last year and the year before that, nigga. I'm representing these motherfuckers hard. I don't give a fuck if they win. Well, I do give a fuck if they win. You know, if they win, if they lose, if they tie, <laughs> if they eat pussy like I do, nigga, and go fetch fish, nigga, that's just... That's just them, nigga. I'm going to represent them to, to the goddamn wheels fall off, nigga. I ain't never a bandwagon fan. I was liking the fucking Eagles before McNabb came, back when that nigga Bobby Hoying was the quarterback. But, no fucking bandwagon fans out here, man. And then I was at the store, I seen this one nigga, and he liking the Falcons. All of a sudden, nigga, I'm looking around, well, ain't nothing wrong with liking the Falcons. You like who you want to like, okay? But, uh... I don't know if the Falcons won yesterday. I don't know if they won or lose. I don't know if they won or lost. I was so pissed off. I didn't even look at the fucking games yesterday. Um, I'm just looking around. This one car came by. Falcons. Other car. Falcons. Falcons this. Falcons that. I'm a motherfucking Falcons fan now. Falcons this. Falcons that. Falcons? Nigga, where the fuck was y'all, nigga? Bandwagon ass fans, man. Like, where the fuck was you... Fucking Falcons fans at last year. Motherfuckers just showing up, nigga, out of nowhere. Nigga, you feel me? Like, but this shit is... Shit is ridiculous, man. Damn, these fucking Niners fans out here, man. Damn, motherfucker, man. Motherfucker, oh, I'm a Niners fan. Ooh, okay, good for you, motherfucker, okay? But I didn't see y'all motherfuckers last year, though. I'm only talking about Niners fans in, um, you know, in... You know, Bakersfield, you know, um, where I live at. I ain't talking about everybody out there. If you're a Niners fan and you're watching this video, I mean, shit, nigga, you a Niners fan. I mean, but I'm, but, but, but I'm just trying to make it, I'm just trying to, you know, tell you, I'm just trying to, you know, make you aware that there are some bandwagon Niners fans out there. You know, they're bandwagon fans of every sport. Um, Back when I got on here, you know, I was looking, you know, I was, you know, looking at videos and shit. All of a sudden, as of late, you see fucking New England Patriots fans now. Oh, my God. These are some of the most bandwagonist motherfucking fans, dog. Like, New England Patriots? Really, nigga? Tom Brady? Sucking that dick, Tom Brady? Shit, nigga, you, you get that nigga blowjobs at night, cuz. New England Patriots, wow, nigga, you a Patriots fan, really? You a Patriots fan, nigga, but you don't know the fucking quarterback. Like, I was going to school at losing, and nigga out there in L.A., this motherfucker sitting up this little nigga Aaron. Oh, I'm a fucking, uh, oh, I'm a Patriots fan. Okay, cool, nigga, who's the quarterback? I don't know. Then a couple of days went, went by, I'm looking like, hey, uh, hey, Aaron. He was like, yeah. He was, I was like, hey, you know who Tom Brady is? Who? Who's that? But you a fucking Patriots fan, though. You a Patriots fan, but you don't know who the fuck Tom Brady is. Come on, man. You a Patriots fan, but you don't know who Mike Vrabel is. You a Patriots fan, but you don't know who the fuck Teddy Bruschi is. Wow, man. These motherfuckers, man. But that's whatever, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Y'all hate fucking bandwagon fans because I know the fuck I do. Uh... Like I was going to SJVC. No, I, I'm sorry. I, um, I was looking at Kaplan. You know the you know you know the little fucking school little. I don't know what kind of fucking school it is. But I was sitting down up in the lobby waiting for my admissions advisor to come speak to me. And I'm over here and I'm over, and I'm over here and you know these um, Hispanic chicks don't know shit about football. You can look at them and tell they don't know a goddamn thing. They probably nigga, they probably going for the uh. They probably going for the fucking 49ers, nigga because their husband like them. Most women, some women, not all women, some women, they don't give a fuck about football. They only going for them, nigga, because the fucking, uh, they only going for these motherfuckers because their husband likes them. Or, or, or their boyfriend likes them. Hey, you know goddamn well they don't like fucking, uh, football. Oh, did you see the 49ers last night spank that booty? Spank that booty? Wow, nigga, really? 
spank of that booty. Did you see the 49ers last night spank of that booty? This was last year, by the way. I could have hopped over that counter and slapped the shit out of that bitch, man. But let me know what y'all think on bandwagon fans, man. Let me know what y'all think. I know y'all can't fucking stand them. Um, but what's up, man? Let me know what y'all think. Post your comments up in the bottom. Let me know what's up. Till then, this is your boy, Eat That Pussy 445. Nigga, I'm gone. Holler back at me.